Hey there, fruit lovers. Have you ever yearned to ride a horse at sunset on the beach? Have you ever yearned to ride a horse on top of a horse on top of another horse? Well, I sure have. That's why this week, Pear and I are gonna show you how to ride a horse on top of a horse on top of another horse. <laughs> Dude, that's not what it says, and you know it. You sure about that? Now, an important thing to remember when you're around horses, do not walk behind them. That's right, because horses fart a lot. <laughs> no. Well, okay, maybe certain horses, but you don't want to walk behind them because you might get kicked. Ah! Ah, that makes sense. Next, you'll need a saddle. Well, not necessarily. You could simply place a smaller horse on top of the larger horse's back instead. This video is not about riding a horse on top of another horse. <laughs> All right, once you're on the horse, you'll want to take the reins. Unless it's a drought. Other people like farmers could probably use those reins more. So don't take the reins in a drought. Not those kinds of reins, dude. I'm talking about these kind of reins. Oh, you mean the horse's leash? Sure. Then why'd you just say so? <laughs> Next step, start riding the horse. Yeah. Exactly. Look around for another larger horse and ride your horse onto that horse. Horrid. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Uh. It's a really bad idea to ride three horses at once. Thank you. Because there's a good chance they might all fart at once. Can you imagine? Oh, horrid. <laughs> Bloody farts. No. I know to all you Fruit Loops and Fruity Poops out there. <laughs> oh, dude, gross. What? Orange and I have been playing Monopoly for two hours because today Heath Gaming wants to know how to play Monopoly. Uh, why couldn't he ask? <laughs> Knife! 